Alright, hi. Today I'm going to be doing a Photoshop tilt shift technique. Um, how to create miniature model looking photographs. Um, this is quite an easy technique and you'll learn how to do quick mask in this um, which is a cool way of making selections um, soft and gradient selection. Um, so to start with find a suitable photograph. Um, Stock Exchange is a good place to find photographs. It's free once found the photograph, right click and copy it. Um, Control N on the keyboard in Photoshop will create a new document the same dimensions as that photograph. Press Control V which will paste that in. See now it fits in there. Um, and press Control J on the keyboard with that layer selected, Control J, which will duplicate that layer. And you can name that layer background. It's really good practice to just name all your layers, just get into the practice of um, labeling them because it, it just really helps you out when you've got lots of layers um, it's just a lot easier to find and once you've got into the habit of it um, it's easy. Okay so um, with that layer du duplicated um, we can press quick mask mode which is Q on the keyboard which is the shortcut we'll just go down to this icon here at the bottom of the toolbar and uh, select it. Um, nothing appears to have changed but it's now in quick mask mode. So to use this go to the gradient tool or press G on the keyboard. Make sure black to white is selected uh, and the fourth one along, fourth gradient along at the top of the toolbar. Select that and um, holding down shift uh, click and drag you don't have to hold down shift, you can put it at a diagonal angle if you want to. Um, the red bit will be the clear bit and the the part around it will be um, blurred. This is how um, a tilt shift works. It blurs the outside of it, making the middle bit that's clear look like um, a miniature model. So um, with that selected um, press Q on the keyboard again um, like so and that will be the area that's blurred I'm just going to do that quickly again, press Q um, hold on shift let's get that in the right place right, just there is fine um, so I'll just do this again yeah so just get it in the right place where you'd like the tilt shift to be, that'll be right. Press Q to get out of quick mask mode. Go to filter, blur, lens blur. Uh, might take a little while just to apply the effect and render it. The default settings for uh, the lens blur will be fine to, to blur this so that it looks like a miniature model. Um, also, if you're interested in, in some tilt shift photography, there's a Flickr group which has loads of real tilt shift photographs taken with a, a camera lens. I think it's like a special tilt shift camera lens which makes things look miniature. Uh, and not as well as that, this Photoshop tilt shift, which is a popular technique. Um, some of them are really good. Okay, so you can see now it's blurred the top part and the bottom part leaving the middle bit looking very miniature you you can see that um, yeah in here these people look like they're very small models you could increase that space so that less of it is blurred um, and if it's the other way around you can just press invert so that the um, middle isn't blurred and the top and bottom are okay so just go ahead and press ok and press Control D to deselect. Now um, that's pretty much it for tilt shift. Um, the other thing you can do is go to um, Image Adjustments, Hue and Saturation, and just bump up the saturation. So there you have a finished tilt shift. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.